All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I know we're here for the press conference. I will be introducing Coach McMurdo in just one moment. Um, have your questions out. When he calls on you, you're going to tell him your name and then ask your question. Hopefully everybody's clear on this. Make sure we're paying attention how it works. So, Mr. McMurdo, come on up. Yes, thank you, Rich. Thank you for introducing me. First, I got a statement about the team this year. We have 77 people on our team this year. I anticipate great things from this team. This team was hand-picked to be here in this portion of the Colorado River. We've got a lot of fun things going on for them this year. So, reporters, if you have any questions, please raise your hand and wait to be called upon. So the first question, yes sir, tell me your name. My, my name is Colin, so most people, call, most people call me Colin Cruz. Colin Cruz, what's your question? Alright, now, uh, do, we get more, do, we, do we get more freedom here? Do we get more freedom here? That's a good question. A good question. It's a process of getting more freedom here. The process involves earning more freedom here. As you get to an older age level, the freedom should increase. So hopefully you earn the freedom. Freedom is not given. Freedom is earned. Thank you for the question, Colin Cruz. Yes, ma'am. My name is Natalie Robbins. Natalie Robbins asking the question, what is your favorite movie? Thank you for the question, Natalie. My favorite movie is probably Die Hard. Die Hard is my favorite movie. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Please don't forget, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Another question. Yes, ma'am, your name? My name is Izzy Williams. My question is, do we have like certain school cash that we can spend on stuff? Izzy Williams, that is a phenomenal question. Izzy Williams wants to know if we have school cash. Last year we had something called Mustang Moolah. This year we're doing something a little different. It's a little different. We're going to be in camps. You will be divided into camps later this week. There are several camps throughout the building. There are eight different camps. Each camp is a different color. You'll be in camps with students from all different rivers. The students in the camps earn points, and those points accumulate, and each week there will be a winner. There will be a winner each week. And that winner will receive some sort of prize. You will find out all about that later this week. Thank you for the question. Um, yes, sir, Mason. Um, Stand up and tell me your name. My name is Mason Tillery, and I was wondering if there will be long division and square roots. Square roots. That's a good question. Mason wants to know if we're going to have long division and square roots. Mason, we will do long division this year. Long division will be done. So we will do long division this year. Long division is not a difficult thing. We will not do square roots. However, I have posted in the back of the meeting room, the back of the meeting room, we have a list of many square roots. Many square roots. It's that top poster underneath the crazy looking pumpkin and the can of spam. The can of spam. Thank you. Next question. Yes, ma'am. Tell me your name. My name is Morgan Jenkins, and I was wondering what's your favorite book. Morgan Jenkins is asking what Coach McMurdo's favorite book is. Well, I like Stephen King books. My favorite Stephen King book is called The Stand. The Stand is a very big book. I've read it numerous times. Numerous times have I read it. It is very good. I've enjoyed it every time I've read it. Yes, ma'am, you have another question. Stand up and tell me your name again. My name is Billy Bob Joe, and my question for you today is where did you graduate? 
Billy Bob Joe wants to know where I graduated. Well, Billy Bob Joe, I graduated high school from Kennewick, Washington. That is in the southeast part of Washington. I graduated from college with my bachelor's degree from the University of Texas at Arlington. I graduated with my master's degree from the University of Texas at Arlington. So I have a bachelor's and a master's degree. Those degrees I have. Yes, sir. My name is Jason Bentley, and what is your favorite food? Jason Bentley. Jason Bentley asks, Coach McMurdo, what is your favorite food? Jason wants to know my favorite food, the food I like to eat the most. Jason, I would have to say my favorite food is probably pizza or maybe tacos. But if we're going the dessert route, Jason, my favorite dessert would be ice cream. Ice cream's my favorite dessert. I like ice cream. I love ice cream. Young man over here, please stand and tell me your name. What's your favorite color? David has asked, what is my favorite color? David, my favorite color is purple. Purple is my favorite color. It was a process to go through and figure out that favorite color, but I went through that process. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Hi, I'm Izzy Williams again, and can you tell us our your darkest secret? Oh. Izzy Williams wants to know my darkest secret. Oh. Izzy Williams, my darkest secret. Izzy, that is a good question. That is a question I'm going to have to ponder because I'm not 100% sure what my biggest secret. Oh, here, Izzy Williams. I have a son that is 21 year old, 21 years old, and I have a son that is 10 months old. What? So my biggest secret is there's 21 years between my oldest child and my youngest child. It was a process to get there, but I made that process. Yes, ma'am. My name is Maribel Adamovich, and what was your story that made you want to be a teacher? Maribel, what was the story that made me want to be a teacher? Well, Maribel, I enjoyed high school very much. I enjoyed everything about high school. I had fun in high school. That probably prompted me to want to be a teacher. However, my first idea was to be an actor. I wanted to be an actor, Maribel. But then I decided I didn't want to wait until I was finally discovered to be the fine actor I am. So I went ahead and decided to be an actor in the classroom where I have an audience, which is you guys that have to pay attention. Next question. Yes, sir. My name is Jared Walker. And what time do we Jared? Jared wants to know what time we switch classes. Jared wants to leave this room. Jared, today, the next three days, Jared, the schedule is kind of crazy. Today we will switch classes at 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock we'll switch classes. You will go from here to Coach W's class when we switch classes at 11 o'clock. Next question. Um, yes, ma'am. Natalie Guthrie wants to know my favorite ice cream flavor. Well, Natalie, I like Blue Bell and I like The Great Divide. That is one half vanilla and one half chocolate. Or it could be one half chocolate and one half vanilla if you turn the carton around. That is my favorite ice cream. Next question. Yes, ma'am. Um, my name is Alizé Rocha, and do you have a favorite subject other than math? Alizé, did I say that correctly, Alizé? Probably my second favorite subject is history. I like history because there's a lot of blood and violence in history. History can, history can get messy. But we need to learn from history so we don't repeat the bad parts of history. Um, David. Uh, my and what is your favorite pizza type? Okay. David wants to know my favorite pizza type. David, on my pizzas, 
if I get to order for myself and don't have to get pizza for my six and seven year old daughters, I like to order pizza with pepperoni, pizza with black olives, and pizza with mushrooms. That is what I like to get on my pizza. Next question. Yes, ma'am. My name is Sahana wants to know why I'm speaking in robot voice. Sahana, that is a good question of why I'm speaking in robot voice. Well, the press conferences I watch are the Dallas Cowboys press conferences. And I've learned from the coach of the Cowboys that when you speak at press conferences, you need to speak in this manner. It is a process I've had to learn. I've had to study in all three phases. Next question. My name is Barbara Ann. My question for you today is, what is the hardest thing that we've learned? Barbara Ann wants to know what the hardest thing that we will learn this year. Well, Barbara, that would be something different for each person, Barbara. It depends. Some people think division with two-digit divisors is hard. However, it's not. So, what might be hard for you now will not be hard for you at the end of the school year. I have handpicked my students and these students are going to excel at everything that I'm teaching this year. They will use their journals which will show them easy ways to get things done. They will learn to use common sense. Common sense is important when you're doing school. That common sense will help you learn how to Get an estimate. Figure out an area where your answer might be. Next question. Yes, sir. When do we get my name is. Oh, my name is. Um, um, Tommy Cruz. And, um, Tommy Cruz has a question. And um, when do we get snacks? Well, Tommy Cruz, since we have lunch at noon this year, which is right in the middle of our school day. We're evaluating whether or not snack is needed. We'll take that over the next couple of days because you're going to have less than three hours after lunch in order to need a snack. And so we'll discuss snack needing at a later time because we don't have an answer at this time. Next question. Yes, ma'am in the back again who asked a lot of questions. <laughs> Just so much fun. My name is Tom Hanks, and my question for you is, what did you major in college? Tom Hanks asked, what did I major in college? Well, Tom, first of all, Tom, your voice is much higher in pitch than I've heard it in the past. One of the worst movies ever made, Tom, you were in, and that's Castaway. Oh. Castaway was not a good movie, Tom. Tom wants to know what I majored in. Tom, I majored in history with a minor in education. At the time I went to school, Tom, I couldn't major in education. They didn't have that. So that is my history, is what I majored in, Tom. Thank you. Young man over here to my left, please. My name is Mark, and uh, when did you go to college? What? Mark wants to know when I went to college. Well, Mark, I graduated college in 1994. So I went to college in the years directly before 1994. Your question, sir. George Washington wants to know where I got this beard. This beard was grown, George Washington. I used miracle Grow on this beard. It has been growing, George Washington, for a long time. Yes, ma'am, right here. My name's Alizé, and when's your birthday? Alizé is asking when my birthday is. Alizé, my birthday is March the 12th. I was born in the year 1971. March 12th, 1971. Next question. Yes, ma'am. How long do you want your beard? 
you didn't tell me your name. I'm not allowed to answer that question. Maribel wants to know how long I want my beard. Well, Maribel, that's a question I can't answer. Because the last time I shaved my beard, it wasn't a plan, Maribel. Maribel, I just decided one day I woke up and decided to shave my beard. So there is real, no real plan on when I'm going to shave my beard. However, Maribel, I am growing my hair out because usually I shave my head, Maribel. But Maribel, I'm going to grow my hair out into a mullet. A mullet. If you don't know what a mullet is, you should look it up or ask your parents. They may know what a mullet is. One last question. Yes, sir, over here in the back. Abraham Lincoln wants to know who my favorite actor is. My favorite actor, Abraham Lincoln, is probably Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon is my favorite actor. Kevin Bacon, Kevin Bacon has starred in movies such as Murder in the First and Tremors. If you saw the first Tremors, Kevin Bacon is the star of that movie. He was also in a television show, the television show a couple years ago called The Following. I don't know if you watched The Following, but he was the star on that show. His name is Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon is my favorite actor. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate the questions.